welcome back to the Academy of Fashion Design YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a waistband. Hello, today I'm going to show you how to put a waistband onto a skirt or a pair of pants. The first thing you have to do is to prepare your waistband. I always like a lighter weight fabric to be interfaced throughout the waistband and then I press my entire waistband in half. After I've pressed the waistband in half, so completely in half, I take one side and press it under the half inch. Then I start pinning my waistband on. On the side that you want the button extension, you are going to pin one inch plus your half inch seam allowance. And you will see that I am pinning the right side of the waistband to the wrong side of the skirt. I then measure my waistband all the way around and on the other side all I want is a half inch seam allowance. You will also notice that my zipper that I have put into my skirt is longer than what I need. I'm just going to leave that there until I've sewn over the zipper teeth and then I will cut it off. Then I match up my center backs on the waistband as to the center back on the skirt and I match up my side seams. If there's any extra on the skirt or the pants, it's going to get eased in in the front part of your garment. So I make the back fit. The front, I can put a little bit of easing in. That gives you, gives you some eating room and some breathing room. So I've got the industrial sewing machine turned on so we're going to, it's going to be a little bit noisier as they are noisier than the, the domestic machines but they're so nice to sew with. So I'm going to show you how to ease on the front of the waistband. So you will notice in the front that there, it's too full for the waistband. So I'm going to put the full part on uh, the machine next to the feed dogs. I never like sewing over my pins because I always think that it dulls the needle. So I always take them out before I get there. Now to ease the front, I do what you call a taut sew. I take the fabric in between my finger and thumb in the back of the needle and again in the front of the needle and I put tension on it. That makes me the boss of that fabric. And then I use the feed dogs of the machine to help me ease the fabric onto the waistband. And that is going to make your waistband so much more comfortable to, to wear. So I'm going to sew all the way around. Trying to remember to take my pins out. And this is the basic nylon zipper so my needle will go right over it. Now that I have sewn over the zipper, I can cut off the piece that's too long. I like to use an older pair of scissors for this because I don't like getting a nick in any of my good scissors. I'm going to do the burrito method. I'm going to put a pin right down beside the zipper and this is the side that's going to have the button extension on it. Then I'm going to fold my pant out of the way, or my skirt. Then I'm going to 
bring the waistband in half backwards so I'll do it again I've got my waist my zipper coming down the button extension line I pinned it so it remains straight and I pulled the rest of the garment out of the way then I fold my waistband backwards and I know this doesn't make any sense at all now normally I would be sewing with either a black or a white thread but for dem demonstration purposes I'm sewing with a turquoise thread so you can see it I come right down to the corner of my half inch seam allowance put the needle down and pivot my fabric now I want to line my fabric up and I want to sew as far into the skirt or the pant without distorting it so if you can get an inch out of that or if you can get two inches that's good I would now debulk my corners and cut my threads. And then I am going to pull that part of the waistband out. So there is the underlap with the button extension. Then I'm going to go to the other side of the waistband and we're going to burrito that. You will see that we only have the half inch seam to work with here because there is no button extension on this side. So again I pin it down, I fold the rest of the skirt or the pant out of my way and I fold the waistband in half backwards. Then I proceed to make my half inch seam allowance. And I pivot at the corner. Pivoting is essential because you would like to debulk that corner as much as you possibly can and if you don't pivot it will come back it will pull out on you then I'm going to debulk the corner and clip my threads then I'm going to pull that corner out as well So you can see that we have one edge of the waistband flush with the zipper, the lap part of the zipper. The other edge has my button extension on it. Then I'm going to take and fold the pressed half inch just over top of my stitching line. And I use that stitching line as a guide. The straighter I can make my folded edge with that straighter or with that stitching line, the better it's going to come out. And I like to take random sections, fold it over, and pin it down. I don't put too many pins in, just enough to hold it. So you can see I have the waistband now folded over to the right side of the skirt or the pant that you are making. And you will also notice in some sections that I have maybe a little bit too much waistband. But you can see that when I go in and taut sew it, which is putting tension on it, that that is all going to even out. 
So now I'm going to go back to the machine. I'm going to start right in the corner of the waistband. I just like to sew in one spot, so I just pull my fabric and sew, sew in that one spot for two or three stitches and so it ties its own knot. And then I'm going to stitch right along the very edge of that waistband, right over the zipper teeth. I'm going to stop and take my pins out. Now if you have a pucker when you get to the pin, stop and take it out and start over again. Do not keep going. I am. You can see that I am taut sewing right at the very edge of the waistband. Once you get the hang of this, this is the quickest part of putting on the waistband. I always like to finish my waistbands on the right side because that is what looks the best. And I am just using the waistband just to cover up the first set of stitches that I put in there. This way everything is straight, say, staying nice and straight on the back side as well. Here you have your completed waistband. Trim off any of the threads. So always trim the thread from the top first and then take and pull it to the back and trim it off there. That gets your little ends of fabric to the back side of the garment. So there is your waistband and there is going to be your button extension. Now, if you have any threads that have to be taken out, this is the perfect time to do it. So, as we were basting this on the first time, there were some stray threads that found its way outside of the stitching line. You just remove them. And there you have a finished waistband and you can see it's very neat on the inside as well. And that's it! Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Academy of Fashion Design. Thank you!